First reports of the explosions came from Nairobi, Kenya. At around 10.35 a.m. local time, a massive explosion rocked the seven-story Ofundi house, adjacent to the U.S. Embassy. According to the U.S. State Department, U.S. Ambassador Pudence Bushnell, who just finished a news conference at the Cooperative Bank, was slightly injured. Witnesses report seeing hundreds of injured people lying on the sidewalks. And Kenya's government soon issued an urgent appeal for anyone with medical training to assist in their care. Just minutes later, there was word of an explosion in Dar es Salaam in neighboring Tanzania. A journalist with Tanzanian television tells CNN that this blast went off next to where a petroleum tanker was stationed. Almost about 20 to 30 meters around this place, it looks like a war-torn uh, uh, area. The, the houses have been blown to pieces, the roofs have shattered, uh, the window pans have been uh, blown up, broken down around the vicinity of this area, and that's what the damage is. The explosion left a crater at least two meters wide and two meters deep. The journalist says the force of the blast destroyed surrounding buildings. An eyewitness who was in the U.S. Embassy in Dar es Salaam explained what happened there. Uh, it was quite chaotic uh, inside, the, uh, inside the embassy, although I have to say, uh, uh, by and large, the, the embassy staff was really quite cool. Uh, the, the air was filled with smoke and dust, and it was very difficult to see. We could hear some people crying that were lying under a, uh, a collapsed wall. Myself and a Marine and a, uh, one of the women that works there at the embassy were able to lift the wall and pull her out. Her legs looked like they were very badly damaged. Emergency services in both countries are hard-pressed trying to deal with the aftermath of the bomb blasts. Sanjay Singh, CNN.